Well, my name is Kevin Clark, and I was born in the Korokai Hospital in 1945. You know, I just loved the rivers, and I'd spent my life on a river somewhere. And if I'm having a bad day, come down here. You don't need the doctor, and you don't need the chemist shop. You don't need any pills. Well, years ago, when I uh, was growing up down at Woodburn and Korokai area, this river had no barriers on it, the Richmond River, and fish travelled right through and up into the top reaches of all the creeks out here. There was mullet and bass in every little stream that you went to. Uh, eels, catfish, all the gudgeons, rainbow fish and that. Yeah, the fishing was just unbelievable. And then when we started putting uh, man-made barriers, the first one that I remember is the one that went in at Casino. It was only uh, two or three foot high at that stage and it wasn't a major barrier, but it started to stop fish. Uh, then they decided they'd build it up higher to maintain more water and it became a real issue then. None of them little fish were getting back into the top of this river. So everyone then, after about 10 years, they started to notice the river dying, dying, you know. Yeah, so improving fish habitat uh, was important to me. So uh, in the 80s, I got involved with it and I got in contact with fisheries and was talking to them about the weir at Casino and what could we do. We finally got to where the dental fishway was put in there. So, and that was a great achievement to get that in there. Uh, a fishway, you've got a series of um, pieces of metal that go down so that when the water is going down through those fishways. It travels at the same speed, no matter how much water comes down the river, for little fish and big fish to travel through it. You know, it improved the, the migration of fish up and down this river tremendously. We started noticing the fish going through it, um, coming back up the river. People started to say, oh gee, I saw some mullet up here, you know, the other day. And so from Casino back to Kyogle now, we have a year class of fish every year. And I'm really happy with it, you know, it's just been a great achievement and been nice to work with fisheries and getting to where we are now. That The fishery belongs to us all and if you use the river, then you're responsible for it. So you're as responsible as what the government and what fisheries are. And if you're going to destroy it, well then you're in the wrong place. Yeah. We need to all get behind what's happening and make a big difference. And if we all get into it, we can make a difference. It could be a lot healthier for people to get out and enjoy it. You, you don't have to fish, you just get out and walk the rivers or, or go out into the bush and enjoy all the beautiful sounds and things that are out there for you. Yeah, the rivers, the fish are my life and uh, I'll be there and I'll fight for them forever and a day.